Hey y'all, it's Courtney, and I am just, real quick video, um, I forgot what I was gonna say there, uh, but anyways, <laughs> um, I just wanted to get your guys' opinion, or ask you guys what you think, or if you like this idea, or these ideas, just let me know, hopefully my comments are on, if not, um, my first frog video is the last video that my comments are on, I'm sorry that I have to do that, it's just how it is right now, I think that it's because there's not as many people working at YouTube right now, hopefully once their staff gets back up, it won't be as bad, I don't know, um, anyways, so, First off, I wanted to ask you guys this. Do you guys know of a good substitute for brace, brace wax? Like, braces wax? Because Patience had a piece of her bottom um, wire come loose, and it was, like, rubbing her cheek. So then she cut it with a pair of toenail clippers, and now it's, like, cutting her cheek. So I went and searched the whole car for it. She said, she said that's where it was last time, but she saw it, but it was not out there. So, I finally found a Starburst and told her just to take little pieces of it and ball it up and stick it on there. But, there, it's going to, you know, it's going to dissolve and melt eventually. So, she's going to have to keep doing that. So, anyways, do you guys know a good alternative? If so, let me know. I don't want her cheek being all cut up because I know that's going to be really uncomfortable. It already is all cut up. So, I don't want her to have to deal with that all night long and, you know. Anyways, so, um, first opinion I need is so obviously I'm wearing my um Willie Nelson uh what's it called oh my god Outlaw Music Festival shirt we all know why Outlaw Music has been ruined for us all but honestly this shirt is so freaking cool I mean it's got the cat head with a headdress and the Willie Nelson beard, or uh, beard, uh, braids, so even if it had her name written across it, i just take a sharpie and scratch it out and still wear it, so, whatever. Um, so, as you can see, I cut off the sleeves. In the summertime, I don't like a t-shirt. I want tank tops. So, I was wondering, would you guys be interested, um, in me doing, like, some up-threading DIY videos? Um, more than obviously just cutting off sleeves but um say if you have a tank top a white tank top that's got a stain on it instead of throwing it away or you know wasting it you up thread it and tie dye it um if it's another why obviously if it's old nasty clothes and you just throw them out but if it's still something that's useful because it's kind of like a way to go against fast fashion because I'm not going to get into all that, but that's not good for the environment, um, because you just go through clothing so fast, and it takes resources to make clothing, obviously, um, so I try to keep clothes as long as possible, but anyways, so, um, I also want to take this shirt and do, like, the ribbing in the back, um, I'm not sure how to do that one yet, but I do know how to do the cut and then tie it back together, but up-threading is basically just taking normal clothes and making them more cute and more your own style. Um, I would want to take, like, the neck part out of this, but I can't because it'll take off the Willie Nelson and I'm not messing any of this print up. So, would you guys like to see DIY videos like that? And then the most important question I wanted to ask, number two, is I saw this thing on Twitter the other day and it said, Would you work in a haunted hospital midnight shift for $80 an hour and all these memories come flooding back because I did work at a teaching hospital midnight shift for three and a half years and um, I did work on the teaching side and then the hospitals on the other side but the teaching side was the hospital for years and years and years um, and then they built the new bigger side and turned the old side into the health science center and then Ruby Hospital is the actual hospital, but Health Science Center used to be the hospital. Anyways, um, but it's, <laughs> I've got tons of, I've got at least 20 or 30 paranormal stories alone, let alone all the funny stories and the weird, just weird stories that aren't, might not be paranormal. Um, 
but I've got a ton of stories. So I was thinking about starting a series um, of telling my adventures working at a haunted hospital midnight shift. Um, I was thinking about making the first one tomorrow and I wanted to get your guys' opinion. Do you like the idea of that series? And if so, would you guys rather hear the story of a place called The Stacks? I don't want to give too much of either of the stories away, but I will put it like this. Imagine tiny little claustrophobic rooms that you can't see hardly anything in front of you um, because there's just rows of stacked up things. And so you can hear noises in the rows in front of you, but you can't see what's in those rows because there's just stacks of stuff everywhere. And the ceilings are like really short and it's just really cramped and dark and fucking creepy. Um, I used to have to go in there alone and then something happened. And after that, I was no longer allowed to go alone. If there wasn't somebody to go with me, I had to wait until somebody could come up and go with me. So you guys want to hear that story? Or would you like to hear the story about the fourth floor um, where they have all the animal testing labs? I don't like that part. I would not <laughs> that, period. Um, they would just stick the garbage cans outside the door and we would pick it up. Um, obviously, they don't want you inside there anyways because that's like secret testing. Um, and they don't want any outside factors in the labs. But even so, I would refuse to clean anything to do with animals. I don't like that shit, but, you know, uh, but there was that, that on that floor, and sometimes whenever the afternoon shift, too many people would call off, it was always that area that wouldn't get done, so my boss would always send me and my friend Lisa to go and pick up the slack for that area, which is all fine and good, except for in that area was the... Oh my gosh, what's that called? It's where the doctors and the soon-to-be surgeons do um, the autopsy rooms. Or like the dissection rooms, really, is what it is. Not an autopsy. Well, I guess maybe an autopsy and a dissection is almost the same thing. Um, but yeah, dissection rooms where they learned about the inside of a body with cadavers. Um, and we would have to clean that. And you would never believe how much grease is in the human body. That's all I'll say. If you'd like to hear that story first, let me know. If you'd like to hear about the stacks first, let me know. Um, either just say stacks or grease in the comment section to let me know what you would like to hear about first. And if you would like to not hear either of those, let me know that too. If you guys aren't interested, then I'm not going to make those videos. Um, also let me know if you're interested in the shirt videos. Um, I don't know what it is here lately. I don't know if it's the humidity or what, but I feel like out of breath all the time. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So, anyways guys, it's been a long day. I just got out of the shower. Yes, I know my makeup is still on. I don't like to wash my face in the shower. I do that separately. So, I just wash my body and like up to here in the shower. And then I get out and I do my face scrub and all that stuff and put on my moisturizer and all that. So, I'm about to do that and change into my pajamas and go to bed. So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are healthy. I hope that you're safe. I hope you're warm or not too hot. I hope that your belly's full. I hope that you're happy as can be. Um, I know that shit is crazy right now, but I hope you're you're managing and um but it's okay not to be okay just remember that there's nothing wrong with you if you can't handle all the stress and you gotta let it out sometimes I think that's what we're all here for this is a um this is a outlet for a lot of us so don't be afraid to uh create to let some stress out I love you guys and uh, let me know and I will make that video tomorrow. Bye.